안녕하세요. 김용진 원장입니다. Greetings, I'm Dr. Kim Yongjin. Today I want to share with you a case in online surgery. The patient of the day is 46-year-old female patient and in the lower left, number 45, 46 and 47 were to be extracted. Number 48, which was impacted, was to be extracted as well. Three implants were to be placed in number 4, 6 and 7. This is pre-op panoramic image as shown. There's horizontally impacted 48 to number 4, 5, 6, and 7. The perio condition is not very favorable. Four teeth were to be extracted and three implants were planned. If you look at number 4, the distance to the canal is sufficient. However, in the case of number 6 and 7, especially in number 7, the residual bone up to the canal is very limited. In this case, delayed placement can be done rather than immediate placement. However, we, there can be issues such as eruption of antagonists. So, I believe that if possible, immediate implant placement would be more favorable. If you use tapered drill, once the mandibular canal is penetrated because of the sharp edge of tapered drill, there can be nerve damage. So if tapered drill is the only option, there can be high risks. But these days, a 485 kit from Austin is available. The drill itself it has round hand like a cast drill. Even if it penetrates mandibular canal, the risk of nerve damage is very small. In number 6 and 7, immediate implant placement was planned and the plan was to use 485 kit drill. For number 6, a 7 millimeter implant was planned and for number 7, 6 millimeter implant was planned. When planning short implant placement, 485 kit can be very useful. When you're removing a wisdom tooth, when you open flap, the cortical bone of external oblique ridge can be exposed. There is a drill called autobone collector and you can harvest autogenous bone more easily. Without additional procedure, you can use it immediately and you can use it for gap management around the implant after immediate implant placement. If the amount is lacking, you can add other allograft materials. In this case, a 4A5 kit was used because the distance up to the canal was limited due to the residual alveolar bone height. Autogenous bone was harvested using autobone collector here. Please focus on those points. Let's watch the video.
Tu tu gra kaut kā man tu gaidu visu šiem paliekam nepārši. Nu, pārši. Tu gaidu visu šiem paliekam nepārši. This is post-op panoramic image. As you can see, three implants are placed in number four, six, and seven. Although the distance up to the canal in number six and seven were extremely limited, 5.0 by 7 millimeter implant was placed in number six, and 5.0 by 6 millimeter implant was placed in number seven without invading the canal. Let's take a look at the CT. On CT, you can see that in number seven, there's about one millimeter distance up to the canal. An implant has been placed nicely. As we all know, in the case of tapered drill at its tip, there's Y dimension, which is quite sharp. This is not included in the drill length that is marked. If you use this kind of drill, then there can be unintentional penetration of mandibular canal. Because of sharp drill tip, there can be unwanted nerve damage. And 4A5 kit can be a very good alternative in this case. In number 6, there is a certain level of distance up to the canal. As you can see, 
I've shown you how to use a 4A5 kit. This can be used in healed ridge as well as for immediate implant placement. Thank you for watching.